Jimmy Postles, and welcome to something new on the channel. Uh, this is Magisite. It is a roguelike mixed with uh, Terraria, Starbound kind of survival crafting game. I don't get into it. Uh, so I just started this. Uh, just did a couple runs off camera just to get a feel for it. So you have uh, many different races that you can unlock, kind of like our ships in FTL, I guess. Uh, so if we kill 50 monsters single playthrough, we might get a noble. If we kill 20, uh, 20, 20 ores, mine 20 ores, we get this guy. Uh, for a skill, you get 20% chance of unlocking all these different guys. Uh, beat the game without using an, IP, an HP potion. Yeah, um, <laughs> never? I don't know, but never say never, eh? Anyways, uh, but our only... Uh, guy that we can play with here is the peon. Common folk of deep haven, these simple yet ambitious people strive to expand their colonies underground through mining, farming, crafting. Perhaps one day these unlikely heroes will rebuild an army and take back the overworld. Uh, he starts off with a wood axe, which is pretty good, and two random items, possibly. Uh, we have two variants for this character, uh, I guess male and female, kind of, sort of, maybe? I don't know, but, um, ponytail. And we have no hats unlocked. You get a lot of, you know, a lot of 20%, uh, 100% chance after beating the game without taking any damage. Okay. Unlock by using a cheat code. Press the L key in game. Well, I'm definitely going to do that the first, like, right away. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have no companions either. What do we got here? Uh, District 15. Beat the game. Reaching level 40. Beat the game while under level 5. I don't even know how that's possible. You'd have to, like, not kill anything. Uh, beat the game without interacting with any NPCs. That's also very interesting. And without chopping a single tree. These are really interesting. Okay, well, I guess you get really, really good at the game. Uh, challenge runs get, I suppose. Um, so you can reroll re -roll your stats here. Green means they grow fast. Red means they don't grow so fast. And you get traits. We have plus two attack, minus one uh, defense. And uh, pretty sure... I heard somewhere that defense isn't even in the game yet, so that might be good just to get that extra bonus attack with no uh, detriment. 50% chance to craft big potions only based on ingredients is actually a really good thing, so I'm just going to go with this. I'm just going to create this guy. Sivrof the Peon. Let's rock. Okay. So. Wow, that w that's really good to start off with, uh, that blade there. Let's see if we can't. Uh, Punch this slime. There it is. Alright. Uh, what do we got? We got bone there. Alright. Uh, so, punch the bug with the bone. We can, you know, start chopping things down and uh, start. start mining things. All right, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's chop some trees down here, and now we can start. Uh, so with the stats that we rolled, um, we're better off trying to go for. Wow, stone blade right off the bat. That's pretty fantastic. So let's uh, let's craft a potion here. So hold shift. There it is. Wow, big potion right away. That's very nice. Uh, also going to uh, maybe not do that just yet. I'm going to be looking to do stuff with that as well. I'm going to create a uh, sword would be good, or pick would probably be best. Let's go with that. There we go, pick handle, and we can merge that with the stone blade we started with. Now we have stone pick, which is really good to get going. Alright, very good. Stone. Oh, let's chop uh, some trees here. Now, uh, you know, no way we're going to win on our first uh, foray into this magical world of wonder. But uh, I've seen people beat the game in about an hour, sometimes less. So, something to think about for the future. Um, we're going to go for maybe a half hour. You know, so if we die, like, really quick, we'll do a couple of runs. If, uh, you know, we're just basically going until we die. Uh, and then see how much time is left. So, no need for a sword just yet. I would like to make one though. Do we have any? No, we don't. Okay. 
Let's uh, bludgeon this pig with... Uh, there we go. So I uh, played a couple runs off camera and like... The first zone, had, all I had was a wooden axe. I had no items at all. Like those two random items, I don't even remember what I rolled. They were worthless pretty much. And uh, like the boss, like a boss, a couple of bosses spawned like right before my first step. And I died instantly. Um, <laughs> so this is going a hell of a lot better. Not too many enemies. Uh, now this game is an, you know, it's not, I wouldn't call it active development. It is finished. They released it, 1.0, all that, full release. But, um, you know, they are adding new things all the time. They are patching it. Uh, Potion Brew, which is our one of our traits that we have, that originally was a 100% chance. Every time you uh, crafted a potion, you got a big potion, which heals for five, regular potions heal for two. So that was really great, really overpowered. Also, farming wood. Wood, like, I mean, you could chop down a few trees and buy, like, really great stuff really early. Um, you know, so it was a little overpowered. Wow, a crit with a stick. Fantastic. Um, we probably could craft the stone uh, sword or whatever, but I'm thinking of doing uh, when we get... There's going to be a town after this. Uh, they call them districts. Okay, so that slime is cooperating, so we're just going to go up here. And uh, so I'm going to do some crafting in there. Now, just like FTL, there are uh, uh, anti-scumming tactics. If you spend too long in a zone... Oh, okay, that, that boar is... Okay, not going to tangle with a boar, especially with no weapon. Uh, so if you spend too long, um, all powerful purple demons from hell come streaming into the district and uh, kill you instantly. So, I try to avoid that, avoid the boar as well. Probably not playing optimally here, you probably do want to kill the boars, but... We leveled up twice. You know, just killing pigs. So that's something. Ow, that was stupid damage. Okay, and our, our wood uh, axe broke. Just plant the slime. Okay, stretch the camera a little bit. I don't know how much is left. I might as well do a little crafting. Um, okay, we have some sticks up here. Sticks are good. Uh, do we have enough string? Oh no, this should be a dex build anyways, because we start with lower dex by default. So, we don't want a dex build. Let's, um, let's make another axe quickly. I'm gonna make a wooden axe. And, uh... Axe handle, there we go. Oh, I need another... Of these. <laughs> and there we go. The crafting, you know, crafting is interesting in this game. It really is. It's just, um, what can I say? Some things should, you know, you would hope to be a little more streamlined. But, um, yeah, wood used to be really overpowered. Like, it would sell for a lot. And, you know, you could really get a leg up on the game. But that's been, um, been patched as well. Um, whoops. Wanted to dash there, hit the inventory key. I mean, there's really not too many enemies on this thing. Really just, there's nothing to do but farm wood. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, really we just saw a couple of boars that I didn't want to tangle with. Well, we only got hit once and it was by the block thing, so. Hey, there's a chest. That's pretty rare. Oh, also falling on a freaking bug. That was stupid. Not really up on the platforming yet. But even without a weapon, we are... <laughs> we are bludgeoning these basic enemies here. Let's see what's in our chest. What do we have? We had... We got a potion. That's good. Uh, some gold. Uh, and looks like an iron arrow. Which may or may not come in handy later. Probably not. I mean, starting off with the lower dex. Dex is really... Just like classic RPGs, dex is the governing skill for arrows, and we are starting off with uh, a lower amount of that, so I'm not going to probably go for that. Um, maybe try for magic. 
Although I'm not seeing much opportunity for that yet. But we're about done with the first uh, district here. And uh, so we'll chop down this last tree, bludgeon this last pig. I have some options here. Do we want to go through the forest again, or do we want to go... You know, since we have some time, I'm going to, um... We really get much stone. That's interesting. Well, I guess we use it all for the pick. Anyways, we're going to, uh... Quickly eat something before we starve. You can see our... Uh, that's something else I don't like about this game. You can't use things while your inventory is open. But anyways, here's some cooked meat. Pop up here and munch on. And you have a chance to heal for 1 HP uh, every time you use that, so that's good. And uh, I'll do something like that. Okay. So, I think we're gonna go forest again. Just because we really didn't get much on this one other than wood. So, let's uh, see, we have a bone axe, gold pick right away. 600. I don't know if we'll be able to afford that. Iron sword might be interesting. Uh, stone sword is also pretty alright. Okay. Let's see. Got quite a lot of wood. I think going for the iron pick would be the best thing right now. Alright, so this guy, is, we need to find the smelter guy. There he is. One, two, there it is. Okay, so we're going to smelt our iron. And that should be enough for us to get a blade. Very good. And now we can... Um, I'll stick those up there for now. Um... So now we have a iron pick, which allows us to get better minerals quicker and level up our gear. I mean, we're doing all right on forest enemies, just bludgeoning them with our bare hands, so no, no need. No need, I'd say, for any armor or anything just yet. Um, okay. Oh, there's stone up here. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So stone, sticks... Um, we just made that wood axe, it is about to break though, so might as well make a stone axe. Yeah, let's do that. Alrighty. Uh, I think all we need is two for our, our axe handle, yes. It is. Okay. And yeah. So let's sell some stuff. It's dangerous to alo go alone buy something. Okay. I keep hitting the dash key instead of the interact key. Okay. So this is our seller guy. We can sell uh, quite a bit of our wood. Doesn't sell for as much as it used to, but just to get a jump on things, we can also sell our stone pick because we have the iron pick now. Sell the wooden axe as well. Um, sell the arrow because we only have one of those. I want to hold on to the string spider web because you can make a uh, butterfly net catch bugs and that helps your magic right now though we're gonna get rid of the shroom we'll keep everything else I think we have uh, with the 200 ooh you know we can sell a little more yeah so now we can buy that iron sword down there why not 
This isn't like Rogue Legacy where you have to like spend all your gold and you know before you move on, but it might be a, a good idea. I swear I'll get the platforming down eventually. Okay. So uh District 3, Bushwild Forest. Uh, we're gonna go pretty do the same thing. Now if you use that's a boss there. Two bosses, actually. Okay. <laughs> Two bosses. Fine. We'll deal with them when we deal with them. If at all. Don't think we're strong enough to deal with them. Yeah, we're not even one-shotting these guys with the iron. Uh, the iron sword. Alright, I don't want to waste your durability killing like pigs and stuff and you don't want to whack them with your axe and things you don't want to you don't want to waste your durability okay so huh not something i want to do maybe we can just run no, she is going to, ch or it, I don't know, pirate person there is going to chase us. But I think we, uh, we avoided, uh, we should be okay now. Alright, bad hit there, but we do have some skills now that we can buy. Uh, and since we're kind of attacky, I'm going to go with attack. And that is, uh, Berserk's Rage, 10 seconds, your attack is doubled. So that will definitely come in handy, and use the Z key for that. So yeah, th this um, this area doesn't exist anymore. Nope. <laughs> that area is not a thing anymore. Okay, more spider web is good. Is that boar gonna get aggro? Yes, and I'm an idiot, and I died. <laughs> there it is. I didn't even notice my health. 14 minutes. What did we unlock? We got the Orclops. New race unlocked. Excellent. And we got Berserker Scarf. Not too shabby. So let's play again. I'll, uh... Huh. Well, I didn't want to... I want to try out the new stuff. I guess we can play again. Not, uh... Not so great, uh, starting gear this time, though. We'll punch a pig with a mushroom. Because we can, but the wood axe is nice. Uh, so do one more run and call it an episode. <laughs> I doubt it'll get much better than this. Alrighty, so let's see, what are we working with here? That is a pick handle right away. That saves us on sticks a little bit. I want to make two of those. Okay, so pick is good. Uh, don't have enough to make any. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Knock back the lore. We're gonna die if we don't kill this guy. We're up. <laughs> That's something I was talking about earlier. Alright, let's go back to the menu. Let's uh, let's do a quick or Orclops run here. Let's see. So, Orclops. These gargantuan brutes were driven underground from their mountainous homelands. Although not very intelligent, these barbarians hold incredible might and power, which allow them to aggressively expand in Deep Haven. So, HP minus one, attack plus two. And they start off with a uh, bone sword and a bone pick, which is on par with stone. It's not too shabby at all. So we'll pick him. As, uh, only have one variant and no hats. Oh, we had the Berserker. Yes, here we go. Scarf was worn by the legendary warriors who died fighting the Scourge in the early days of Deep Haven. 30% chance on level up to gain an additional attack stat. So that works really well with our guy who's super into attack. 
Um, 50% chance your pick will not lose their ability. That's kind of alright. And plus two decks. I don't know. Decks with an attacking guy. Let's re-roll that. HP 6, Potion Brewer, and more decks. No. Uh, H more decks, Potion Brewer, and plus 10 luck. Kind of digging that. Kind of digging that. Let's go with that. Okay. Now, we don't have an axe with this character, so that's... something. So how do we get, uh... Wood, you might, uh, ask. And the way you do that is, believe it or not, with bow. Come on, slime. Oh my god. Uh, we're about to die already. <laughs> we're about to die already, and we only got one bow, so we can't even, we can't get any axe stuff at all. I think you need, uh, three bone to get an axe. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Why, boar? I want that stuff, but I'm dead. <laughs> That is the way things uh, usually go, I guess, until you get better at the game, but wow. Alright, we'll do a few more. Uh, Orclops runs. <laughs> Punching pigs with a... with a... <laughs> Punching pigs with a, with a piece of cloth. Two boars! Fantastic! And we're dead already. Okay, I'm just not good at avoiding these guys. All right, let's play again. Let's get a little slow here. Let's. God, this is probably painful to watch. Uh, that first run, though, that that first run went really well. Okay, thought I could dodge that better, but guess not. Okay, spider web. All right, we didn't die. Well, that's something. No bone at all yet, though. Okay. Okay! <laughs> and I jump out of slime and kill myself. Alright, we'll do one more. And if things don't go well, I don't know, maybe next episode we'll, uh, we'll go back to the peon until we unlock stuff, I don't know, but this, <laughs> this is just, this is just funny. I should be, uh, okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, trying to, I'm too cautious now. There it is. There we go. Let's go, let's go uh, bludgeon this pig. Uh -huh. <laughs> just the, the sound of the overall sound quality of this game is just fantastic. Alright, bug. Make my day. Hey, level up at least. Making progress with our Orclops friend.
No bone, though. Haha! -ha. Trick, trick the the boar. Wasn't expecting him to turn around that quickly. And we're dead. <laughs> oh god, we're dying. We can't even beat the first level with the with the Orclops guy. But uh, I think that'll do it for right now. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know how you're, how you're liking the magic site. I know I obviously I'm, I'm sucking horribly. Um, watching people play and reading wikis and it's really no uh, no substitute for actually getting your hands on the game. But it's ten bucks on Steam. Recently came out earlier this month, beginning uh, beginning of June. And uh, give it a shot, man. There's multiplayer. I don't know how well that works, but uh, give it a shot, man. It's it's pretty great. Brug like mixed with Terraria. Why not? Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed and would like to see more. Uh, I don't know what the schedule for Magic Site will be. Maybe daily, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if, you, if you know you guys enjoy it, I will definitely. I have no problem making more. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, stay frosty.